This is my DIY cinematic camera and you can build it too. Don't let its tiny size deceive you, because this camera packs a lot of power and capabilities. For example, it can record in 6K resolution and it can take 20 megapixel pictures. All this with a large 1 inch sensor. Thanks to the C mount lens mount, essentially any lens can be adapted to the camera, for example this excellent M42 lens. The camera body has a standard quarter inch nut at its bottom, so it can be mounted on a tripod. On its top side, there is a long cold shoe mount, so as in my case, a display can be attached to the camera. The camera has multiple ports and connectors. For example, it has a standard USB-C port for power and data transfer, and it also has a micro SD card slot for storing the recorded media. I also added an extra USB-C connector for powering the fan inside the camera that keeps the processor cool. On the back side, there is my DIY 5-way joystick that replaces the camera's original remote controller. My board is smaller and easier to use. And on the other side, we can see a micro HDMI connector and the two buttons. Since the buttons on the camera's processor module sit deep in the enclosure, I made a little flap that allows us to press the buttons. The advantage of the C-mount lens mount is that we can use a lot of fun lenses with the rather good image quality. For example, this 60mm lens has a great image quality. Or we can have other fun lenses, such as this Canon zoom lens. It has a rather good aperture and a wide zoom range. The camera and its external display is powered by a 3-way USB-C cable. The reason I solved it this way is because there is no easy way to hijack the 5 watt power rail of the camera module. This solution is safer and more DIY friendly. The camera then can be powered from a USB adapter or a power bank. The display I assembled works very well with the camera. Due to the large resolution of the sensor in the camera, one of the most fun features is its digital zoom capability. Even at the fully zoomed in image, we get a quite decent image quality. I made a long format video about this camera and its features, so please check the video on my channel.